So what do you need to see no self, to see that there is no self? A very important point. The most important of all, you need desire. You need true desire to see, to look with honesty in the center of your experience. Why this desire is important? Because your mind needs to be open to the possibility that you are wrong, that you have been wrong all along, and that since the age of three or something, you've been living the, the life of a person that doesn't exist. So this can be shocking. Shocking is good, because you can turn around the, the, um, the energy of the shock. But basically, you really need desire, willingness to be wrong, willingness to see. Just like at some point, someone had willingness or courage to go explore the possibility that the earth was not flat. It's the same thing. You believe that there's a self, meaning you believe that a self is needed for you to experience, for experience to happen. And what we say is that there is no self. Not only there's no self needed, but there's no self at all. The person, the entity that you think you are, is a belief. So you understand why desire is highly appreciated for, the, for this process. It's very, very important. After desire, um, you will need to trust, but that will come. You will bring down the looking from the land of concepts over there to real looking, to the, to, to the land of experience. And the land of experience does not need concept or description in order to be. How do we get there? First of all, by understanding what is this looking that is needed. The looking is already happening right now. It's a very simple and very um, registering looking. It's a, it's a pure perception. It's that which allows you to like, dislike, prefer anything on top of it. So before having an experience of liking, not liking, describing, comparing, you need to see it. Just the way you see this picture, you will see with this seeing that there is no self. But you must bring this seeing from thinking to actual seeing. Because the way you look at things is past. You look at things through the filter of your own mind, through the filter of experience, through the filter of belief. We only need a few seconds of pure, innocent attention to look and to see that there's no you anywhere. And once the mind is open, once the mind is starting to check and to verify, uh, it's a fire. Awareness is a fire. You start to be aware of a lot of central beliefs that you carry because they all depend on that I, on that I thought. And the idea is really to see if there is someone behind a thought, behind the I thought, behind me. And this takes looking. But at that time, at that point, your looking is a fire. And with that fire, we can go very, very deep, very quickly. We can open the door of no self. You can understand it at that level, but once you start to see it, once you start to, again, desire, opening up to the possibility that you don't know, that there's something that you don't know, and three, looking and checking. That third part, looking and checking, is really a dance. And the question comes, your answers comes, which are the most important, you're looking, and you start to realize uh, not only the lie, but you also start to realize a power inside of you, the power of truth, the power of honesty. And that's the great uh, liberator factor, your honesty and your truth. This is like a, it's like a drug. You start to like that energy of yours instead of the energy of uh, assumptions, beliefs, suppositions. You start to stick with experience as it is, not as you think it is. 
when this when this happens uh, something even more beautiful is really starting to happen um, and you actually see your own absence but you're okay with it you uh, you're happy you're happy not to lie anymore